And we are back with part five of Arab Rosh Hashanah, or um, also um, we are on the eve of a brand new month of Tishri, which will be beginning also tomorrow. Um, I thought I had enough time to actually um, finish the, um, this teaching for this evening, but I, as I looked up, we were closely heading for almost 24 minutes. and. Um, when we get that far, uh, it, once we hit 25 even, it will not upload at all. So I didn't want to take a chance of, of doing going any further and then not being able to upload the whole part and having to redo it anyway. So uh, it doesn't hurt to have a, a fifth part here. So that's exactly what we're going to do for now. We usually do a lot of the readings, you know, we do the full Shabbat uh, service readings, um, but we're not usually here on a Shabbat, uh, on an evening before Shabbat. So we are going to actually welcome the Sabbath. Um, if you haven't already done so, you know, doing the blessing over the, uh, over the meal, over the bread, over the wine, um, We'll, we'll do this right uh, at this moment and bring on the Sabbath. And then what I'm going to do is then we're, we're just going to close with the ironic uh, blessing, the priestly blessing. And we will be back in the morning with Rosh Hashanah. Okay. As we welcome the Sabbath, what we do is we, uh, we will light two candles after sundown on Friday evening. Uh, usually every Sabbath. Um, practical activity, the all-important lighting of any flames needed for the next 24 hours. It developed into one of the most holy times for the Jewish women, the blessing over the Shabbat candles. And I tend to read the traditional blessing. There's, um, We're going to read both the Messianic blessing and the traditional blessing of the candles. So as we light our candles, we say Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kedeshenu B'Mitzvotav B'Tzvenu Nedelech Nel Shel Shabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the Universe, who has made us holy through His commandments and commanded us to light the Shabbat candles, the Sabbath candles. And then we have the Messianic blessing. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaAlam Asher Kedashenu Bidvaro Vinatan Lanu Et Yeshua Hashiyainu Vitsineinu Lihalot Or Leolam Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the Universe, who has made us holy through his word, and has given us Yeshua, our Messiah, and commanded us to be light to the world. And we have the blessings of the family, the sons. May God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh. And the daughters, may God make you like Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. And for all, I don't I bless you and keep you. I don't I make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. I don't I turn his face towards you and grant you shalom. And for the women, the wives, and an accomplished woman who can find her value is far beyond rubies. Her husband's heart trusts in her, and he lacks nothing valuable. And the prayer of sanctification. We symbolize the joy and holiness of God's day of rest with a cup of wine or grape juice. The Kiddush, the, Kiddush, the prayer of holiness, I'm tongue tied tonight here, reminds us that as those redeemed by the Messiah, we are all called to reflect his holiness. And there was evening. So there was evening and there was morning the sixth day. So the heavens and the earth were completed along with their entire array. God completed on the seventh day his work that he made. And he ceased on the seventh day from all his work that he made. Then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. For on it, he ceased from all his work that God intended to create. We have the blessing over the wine or the grape juice, whatever 
uh, you choose to uh, use. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. And then the Kadush. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the universe, who has made us holy through his commandments and has been pleased with us and has given us his holy Shabbat as a heritage with love and favor, as a reminder of the work of creation in the beginning. For that day is the foremost of our holy called out times, a remembrance of the exodus from Egypt. For you have chosen us and sanctified us from among all the nations. You have given us your holy Shabbat in love and delight as our heritage. Blessed are you, Adonai, who sanctifies the Shabbat and the blessing over the bread. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. And now, if you haven't eaten, um, you, um, and you're listening to this, by all means, come back and pause and get the blessing after the meal. Jewish culture blesses God for the food before the meal and thanks him for it after eating. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the universe, who feeds the whole world in his goodness with grace, kindness, and mercy. He gives food to all living things, for his kindness is everlasting. Through his great goodness, we have never lacked, nor may we ever lack food for the sake of his great name. For he is God who feeds and sustains all and does good to all and prepares food for all his cre creatures whom he has created. Blessed are you, Adonai, who provides food for all. You open your hand and satisfy every living thing we favor. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Baruch Shem Kevod, Echuto Leolam Vayad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love Adonai your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength. These words which I commanded, I am commanding you today, are to be on your heart. You are to teach them diligently to your children, and speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. Find them as a sign on your hand, they are to be as frontlets between your eyes, Write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. And the Lord Yeshua added to that thing, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. And the entire Torah and the prophets hang on these two commandments. And I added that because the, the Shema is a prayer that is actually done in the morning and the night. Um, and now this is the evening, so we're going to end that with that um, also. Um, so Shabbat Shalom, everyone, um, as well, because we are entering Shabbat. Um, and I will be also having Shabbat services in the morning, um, um, actually posted for Rosh Hashanah for, for uh, the 19th, for Shabbat services. In number six, verses 22 to 27, you will find the priestly blessing, the Aaronic blessing, or also known as the Aaronic benediction. It is a benediction found. Um, you will hear this in, in all Jewish uh, synagogues, whether it, no matter what, uh, uh, synagogue it is, whether it is Orthodox, ultra-Orthodox, or Reformed, you will find it in Gentile Christian churches, Messianic Jewish uh, congregations as well. The Lord spoke to Moses saying, speak to Aaron and his sons, gather my children. I want to place my name on them and give them my blessing. And when you become a child of God, when you have accepted Yeshua as your Lord and Savior, you are sealed with the Lord's name. Um, you are sealed uh, by the Holy Spirit. So you are also part of the family of God and entitled to this blessing. 
In Hebrew, it goes like this: Ivarekaka Adonai veishmareka yaea Adonai panavaleka vikuneka isa Adonai panavaleka veyasemleka shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you, and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you. And give you peace. Shalom. Amen and amen. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Kodesh, Kodesh Tav and Lashana Tova. And we will reconvene for Shabbat services in the morning, Saturday, September 19th.